Hey guys, welcome. This is the question that I asked on LinkedIn. Have a look at the below image. It is detecting the shape. Could you please provide a basic crystal circuit that is used in this task? So before this, let us see the definition of an edge in an image. Edge is nothing but sudden and significant change in the intensity of an image. So if you observe here, from here to here, there is a sudden change in the intensity, right? So this is an edge. So we need a circuit which detects the edge. So this is the thing, we need an edge detector. I explained it in a very crude way. This is a whole another concept. So let me delete this thing. What we need is an edge detector. So this is the input. For now, I am assuming that input is synchronized with the clock. So what do you mean by synchronization? Let us say if this is the clock. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let us say this is the clock. Our data should not change from Here to here. Right? Then it is said that it is synchronized with the clock. So let us say this is a deflip flop. And this is the clock. And this is our input. This is the Q, right? So whenever there is a rising edge, the the flip flop detects the input. So, whenever there is a rising edge after a small delay, it gets the input. So, this is the thing, and it won't change till the next clock edge. Then we can tell that the output Q is synchronized with the clock, right? So, this is the thing. If a signal is not synchronized, you can apply it to a deep flip flop. Then the output will be synchronized with the clock. But here, I am directly taking, I mean, I am directly assuming that the input is synchronized with the clock. That means from this edge to this edge, the value will not change. And from this edge to this edge, the value will not change. Here, I need to detect an edge. So this is the problem statement we have. So what we can do is, since it is a rising edge, we are very much sure that if this is a one, the before value should be zero, right? So here what I am doing is, I am shifting this input by one clock cycle. So Q is the shifted version of the input, and I am making a combination logic in such a way that here we will get the one. Then it is detecting the edge, right? Great. So what should be that logic? Input is 1 and Q is 0. Output should be input into Q bar. So this is the logic in it. And this is the circuit that is executing it. This is the input which is synchronized with the clock. Remember this. And this input we are shifting by one clock cycle by applying to the D flip flop. We can see here, whenever there is a positive edge, Q is detecting 0. And whenever there is a positive edge, Q is detecting 1. So indirectly, it is shifting by one clock cycle. And after this, we are applying our combinational logic. Input into Q bar. Output is equal to. Input into Q bar. So this is the circuit that is used to detect a rising edge. Now, for example, what if this input is not synchronized? What I mean is, this thing here is changing in between, like this. 
now you can clearly observe this is not constant from here to here right it is changing in middle now if you apply this input to the same circuit what will be the output let's analyze once here it is zero and here it is one right so you will be getting a one here This is the output. Sorry, this is the Q. And if you apply this to a combinational logic, what will you get? In this region, you will get one, right? So this will be the output. Now don't think that this is getting the edge. This is merely a glitch, a glitch like this. So this is an error. We need the output high for at least a clock cycle, right? Now you can see what happens if the input is not synchronized with the clock. So what is the solution? You already know, right? make this input synchronized with the clock so how to do that starting we discussed whenever it, an input is not synchronized apply it to a d flip flop then it gets in part with the clock so the same thing i will do here before applying the input to this circuit Initially, I will apply this to a D flip flop. Oh, let me change the circuit a little. I'm marking the max T2 and Q2 and here T1 and Q1. And the same clock is going here and here. Right. Now let's see the timing waveforms. First, I am drawing Q1. So, what will be Q1? At this edge, it is 0. At this edge, it is 1. So, Q1 will be this thing, right? Whenever there is an edge, it detects a 1, but after some delay, the output will become 1. Now you can clearly see, Q1 is synchronized with the clock. During this clock cycle, Q1 is not changing, and during this clock cycle also, Q1 is not changing. Now apply this Q1 to this circuit. Now you know the answer. What will be Q2? Shift the Q1 the one clock cycle by at this edge the output is 0, at this edge the output will be 1. So shift it by one clock cycle. And now you apply a combinational logic here output. So this thing will be 1 here.
understood right so this is detecting our h so what is the process that we followed first check whether the input is in input is synchronized with the clock or not if yes directly apply this circuit if no make it synchronized with the clock then apply this circuit so this is the way we detect an h so the circuit we discussed till now is a positive h detector guys i will tell you one thing not related to subject so by listening to the lecture you may remember it for one or two days but you will get clarity on the topic only when you practice by yourself till then you won't be able to get it completely so what i suggest is please practice i will give some homework problems try to complete them then only you will be able to answer a question in an interview otherwise it is not very useful you are getting right so the first question is we discussed about positive h detector now design a negative h detector is the first question second question is design both positive and negative detector but before answering these two questions let me make this as two and three complete this homework this is your first question so this is the input i need to detect positive h in this so all these edges i want to detect let me mark those things and this is the clock so what is the procedure first see whether input is synchronized with the clock or not based on this select the circuit which circuit you want to apply whether the first one or the second one and draw timing waveforms so these three things i want you to do what do i mean by timing waveforms the output q1 and the real output where it detects an edge like this and whenever there is an edge any other clock cycle you are getting right and it these three things and please mention the answers in the comment section so that i can see and i can reply if you are doing any mistake i can correct you that's it guys enjoy your day see you with next question bye bye